Hey, what's up, everyone? Alex here, and I decided to start breeding crickets again on a small scale. This is the first step that I took. I basically just took about 15 adult females that I uh, got from a local pet store. And I didn't ask them for adult females. I just bought about uh, 50 or so, fed off the rest, and then kept this bunch right here. And uh, I put them in a small critter keeper, filled it up about three quarters high with a mixture of organic peat moss and eco earth. And I, I made sure to just get it really moist before I even started putting them in there. Because once they're in there, they don't like being misted. And if the top layer dries out, you will have to mist it. Because once it dries, the eggs are basically going to dry out and be no good after that. So you got to make sure it stays moist. And once the eggs do start hatching, it'll take a few days before all of your pinheads emerge. And you don't want to mist while they're in there because you will most likely kill them off. They'll drown in the tiniest drops. They really are that small and they're not the most intelligent creatures in the world. They're not great swimmers so you really want to avoid that. Now, um, I just tossed in some fresh carrot chips every day or two to keep these females sustained. And the moisture they pretty much got right out of the substrate. So yeah, I left them in there for about a week, week and a half, because it takes only about two weeks for the eggs to start hatching. And if you leave them in there at that time, they will eat the babies, so you gotta get them out before that. So yeah, just keep it warm. You know, room temperature is fine, but warmer is better. And that's pretty much it. I'll post back when the eggs start hatching. Later.